Welcome back guys, another NVM vlog and in this vlog we've got this Mark 6 Golf R in for some big power. So this car needs no introduction, you've probably seen it all over social media with the anti-lag launch control and no lift shift. It is NVM Stage G Plus, so about 360 horsepower, 530 newton meters of torque and it's been well careful with suspension and braking mods to suit. But the customer wants more power, there's various options on the market um, in terms of um, peak power, but what we're going to try and do is build a custom kit for this for around the 500 brake horsepower mark. So in terms of building the kit, the standard KO4 runs out of puff at about 380 to 385 brake horsepower. And that's purely down to the exhaust turbine housing. So we've developed a kit with a 56 mil inducer on the turbo and a nice big manifold with exhaust gas pressure reduction. The actual intake manifold itself will stay the same, but we are gonna change the throttle body over for a metal plate throttle body. Because when you run 1.8, 1.9 bar of boost at this power level, you are gonna cause failure on the standard plastic flap. So we've upgraded that to that too. We've also got some injectors, which are custom flow tested for about 800 horsepower at 180 bar of fuel pressure. But we're actually gonna run it slightly less fuel pressure than we do normally just to kind of get a good spray angle and spray pattern from there. So we'll get all these kind of fitted and fabricated. We do have to custom make the downpipe. So we've, we've cut off the end for the original turbocharger and we're gonna fabricate our own three inch to the actual turbine itself. The injectors are in with a custom loom attached to it. Um, we fabricated the inlet pipe as well for the um, relocation of the PCV um, venting system and also fabricated a new downpipe to suit too. So intake manifold's gotta go on, um, charge pipes, and then we'll start a base um, setup for it just to get the car started and then start our tuning. <laughs> pressure dropped completely there's a mad whining noise coming from the tank and also there's a strong smell of fuel one thing to note on the dyno there was a massive buzzing sound from the rear of the car this car's already got a ttrs low pressure fuel pump fitted elsewhere it does stink of fuel in there and also there's a mad noise coming from there so we'll take the rear bench off and investigate that as well. so what was actually happening on that dyno pull there the actual controller the lpfp controller was actually overheating so with the ttrs um, low pressure fuel pump we actually run slightly reduced duty cycle on there for the same amount as a standard fuel pump but the controller itself was absolutely knackered and it was causing that to whine out and over spin um, so we've pulled that out we replaced it for a brand new low pressure fuel pump and we changed the low pressure controller as well at the same time the actual fuel pressure did start to drop before the duty cycle maxed out so we had a look at the high pressure fuel pump and it seems like whoever's fitted this has over tightened it and caused the seal to break within there. So bits of fuel are getting in to the oil. So now we've got to drop the oil as well. Um, replace the high pressure fuel pump uh, with a brand new follower and seal and new internals. 
and change the engine oil on the vehicle. Pressure's look stable and just 1.4 bar of boost and we're at 377 brake horsepower, 525 newton meters of torque. So we'll increase um, the boost pressure slightly and increase the timing to see what it does today. bar of boost just to see how the turbo comes on in terms of its tr um, wastegate duty cycle but already we're seeing time pull. this usually means that there's a lot of engine noise created it could be a down to the spark plugs oil packs it could be down to the injectors themselves or the uh, intake valves so we're gonna have to take it off the, the the dyno again and investigate that further so apart from the turbo kit this was actually built somewhere else, so the engine has forged internals and it was built somewhere else. It also has a roller conversion and various other parts that we've found a problem has not been built here, but it's part and parcel of what we do. At the moment now, looking at 1.8 bar of boost, it is pulling a lot of time in, so we're going to have to pull the plugs out, check the coil packs, the plugs, and also the mass airflow sensor and see what's actually happening. So it seems like with this setup, obviously we're only running 1.8 bar of boost, but even then we are limited by engine knock. And that happens for one of two reasons, either the engine internals themselves are creating too much noise or it's bad fuel quality. We can add water meth to this and I think that's what we're gonna do in the next video. But for now, we've got a nice healthy 430 brake horsepower, 585 newton meters of torque. So technically that's part one of two. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.